Hey, boy, you can't use that flexible dryer vent for exhausting a water heater, boy. What you're about to see is a water heater installation in the state of California, which means there's going to be all sorts of flexible connections. If you're watching this from the East Coast, you might want to sit down and grab a box of tissues to wipe your tears. California has the second most amount of earthquakes of any state in the U.S., the first being Alaska. I don't know how they do their water heaters there, so if you're from Alaska, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys do. All right, that's enough of that soldering. Nobody cares. Moving on to this rapid grip pipe wrench. This is from Rigid. The jaw opens to accommodate a bunch of different sizes of pipe without having to adjust it with your finger which is pretty sweet it saved me quite a bit of time just going between half inch and three quarter and to the three quarter fittings ah you can't use galvanized fittings on a water heater that's going to corrode and leak all over the place this is what you call 304 stainless steel it does not corrode and no i'm not going to be using any dielectric unions today we're going to spin our expansion tank on after we pre-charged it to a perfect 65 psi and then we're gonna use our brass craft flexible connections, which actually have dielectric properties, believe it or not. I read the spec sheet and it said that they do. So there's our dryer vent, just gonna slap a screw in there, you know. Ah, you need three screws per joint. I know, buddy, I was just kidding. You can smash that pause button, count them up. There's three screws per joint. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great evening.